walls kept tumbling down in the city that we love. It's like... It's Tuesday night slash Wednesday morning. I just thought I'd do a quick little thing. Oh, and I'm really tired. <laughs> I woke up early for me. Yep. So I went to my childhood friend. Well, he was actually my brother's friend in high school slash all of childhood. Anyway, so he lives in New York also. And his name is Max Brand. Shout out to Max. Uh, you should go watch his reel and all that stuff because he's awesome. So I went to his show Monday night. Um, he does a sketch show. I think it was called It's Bullshit or something like that. I just really loved it and I'm, I'm feeling so bittersweet right now because... I feel like I should have done that. I should have gone and done some kind of comedy sketch team thing and I didn't do that. I mean, it's never too late. I could have done it. I, I can do it when I move back, you know. But it's like, but it's New York. Why didn't I do it there, here? Ah, oh, c'est la vie right now. There was another show afterwards um, called The Trumpet Boys. And it was really cool. I, lo I loved it. Basically, they are, it's like three guys, and they do, uh, they do a sketch show, but they also play the trumpet. So they pair. It's something that I've never seen before. And I think that a lot of people would find very interesting because it's very different than just a sketch team or just a musical thing. Um, yeah. And my friend Max knows the main guy. I guess his name is Mark. Anyway. Super cute. Anyway. It's like, why do I like <laughs> stumble upon these things? right before I'm going to leave. I feel like it's so, like, Murphy's Law or something because you should, like, I wish I could have gone back at least like a year and been like, hey, go see your friend Max because he's doing cool things and maybe get involved with something like that. But I think, I think I was just so clouded with what I thought I needed to do here or what I thought that I I don't know and I did a lot of wait I, I don't know did I waste time maybe did I not do the things I should have done maybe but all in all like I feel like I don't know I'm so like 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 likey right now I'm just I am gonna miss this place so much and there's so much of me that was so ready to go just I wanted to get out of here <laughs> because I wasn't I wasn't finding a job did I try maybe I didn't try hard enough <laughs> maybe I kind of was in like a give a give up stage which I think is normal and natural. I just wish that I could have, there could have been like a period of time where I could have taken a break from New York, from living in this apartment. Mostly because I was just been super fed up with like roommate situations, like having to deal with people not doing whatever. Living with three other people is not easy, however you look at it. It's just not. So, I, so I was like, you know, fed up with that and fed up with having to keep returning to a job I just don't like. 
which is catering. It's not my, so that's not what I want to do with my life. And that place affords you to be able to go back whenever you want. And it just felt like, started to feel like a crutch. So I wish, I wish, okay, you can, you can wish all you want, but I, I wish I could have taken off here for like six months and just like cool my head, you know, tried something else somewhere else just to see if that would have been the right option or if it would have been enough time to just be like, hey, okay, now I have a fresh start. I'm going to go back and, you know, my head's clear and now I can figure this out. But since um, that's pro that probably wouldn't have been super possible, I would have had to put, I would have had to put my stuff in storage. It just, you know, whatever. I could have done it. I just kind of never thought of it, actually. Because I have, I have friends who, mo most of my friends here are from the East Coast, so... They can, they can do that. They can go to back to Connecticut. They can go back to Massachusetts or wherever. And they're within like three hours drive of here if, or, you know, like a six hour bus ride or whatever. And, you know, their parents are there. So mine are, they're in Colorado. So however long, far away that is from here. It's like a two hour, two hour, two day excursion on, you know, and now I've, that's, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna, all my stuff, you know, I wish I didn't, another thing, like, if I didn't have attachments to things, if I didn't have need to have a sewing machine or to have screen printing stuff or art supplies or my ukuleles well that would, I could take that with me or you know just cl like clothes I don't have that many clothes but you know I've got enough clothes that it takes up space and you, you just you can't just take everything on your back and just be like or just get rid of everything and be like okay I'm going to start over here, and if I want to, I can come back here, or I can go here. I mean, anybody can. Yes, it's possible. I could just be that type of person, but I'm not that type of person, and I w wish I could be that type of person. <laughs> I don't know where else to go with this. Do I have any regrets? Only that I didn't. Only that I feel like I didn't do everything I could have done. I feel like I could have, and now I'm getting sort of sad, but I feel like maybe I could have, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, uh, I want to say I tried my hardest, but I don't know if I did. I don't know if... What does that even mean? I tried my hardest. You know, I've been here for six years, so it's not like I was doing nothing the whole time, but I definitely tried, like, a couple different avenues. I tried um, music. I was in a band for three years, and that was really great until it fell apart. And I tried to do jazz music. And that didn't really work out. I didn't, nothing really stuck. Um, I'm, then I went back to school for cake. And that was really great for the three months I was doing that. And then, you know, I couldn't really, I, I did an internship for a little while. And, you know, that just didn't feel right. And I never really thought to do, you know, there's things I could have done. I could have bus busked on the subway, didn't do that. You know, I could have tried to do improv or sketch comedy. I didn't... I don't know. I'm not dead, so I can continue to do stuff. Uh, doesn't have to be here. 
just have to keep reminding myself because I did learn a lot about myself while I've been here, about things I could try in the future. I, I learned that I can just do YouTube. I don't know how many people care to watch it, but if I can just continue to do this, I don't have to be in New York City to do that. I can be anywhere. Um, I honestly do feel like it, it would be easier for people to see my singing and performance in a smaller place because there's less people, you know, that, you know, the pond is really large here. It's an, it's an ocean and you're a krill in a huge ocean of lots and lots of talent, which is great. And everybody's always told me that, but you, you gotta see things for yourself. You can't just let other people be like, well, you know, it's really hard. It's gonna be hard. Yeah, it's gonna be hard, but let me do it. Let me fail, let me do it. Let me try something out, let me... And I've had a lot of great times here. I made a lot, a lot of friends that I n always, I always like, in my head, I'm like, oh, I don't have any friends. I'm so, nobody wants to hang out with me, but that's super, super, how narcissistic is that? Like, oh, nobody wants to hang out with me. I'm like the center of the universe. But I do. And all the people who came to my going away party were people I wanted to be there. I was so, so grateful. Thank you all that came because that really, really made my day, my week, my month. You know, I was so, so grateful to have all you guys come to that party. It was really, really great. And um, I wrote little notes for the people who I've known for a decent amount of time. And I was so glad to be able to give those out because I just really, it's, it's rare that you find such a great group of people who all sort of all know each other anyway. And, um, yeah. It was a good time. Um, I'm gonna miss this place, but I can't stay away for too long, at least to visit, because I feel like I have a little bit of an advantage over the, the regular tourists, because I already know this city. And I know I can probably stay with friends or, you know, I know cheap places and I know the subway system and how amazing <laughs> I got to live out here. It's great. It's so great. And maybe I'll stay in Colorado or maybe I'll decide to go somewhere else. But it's... It's a long life, and it's a short life, so let's live it the way it needs to be lived. And that there's no formula for how you should live your life. You don't need to, you know, rush out and get married and have children. Or you can if you want to. Now I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm trying to be inspirational. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's no, it's just, there's, it's, you're one with the universe.